Hi friends, welcome back to Team Education. Friends, in this video, we are solving problem on maximum and minimum. Given problem is find maximum and minimum values of x plus y plus z with the subject to the condition 1 by x plus 1 by y plus 1 by z is equal to 1. Friends, in the previous video, we discussed the maximum minima for the more than two variables. That is nothing but a functions of several variables. Here, given function I am considering as f of x comma y comma z, which is equal to x plus y plus z. And they are given one condition. Consider that function as phi of x comma y comma z or pi of x comma y comma z is equal to 1 by x plus 1 by y plus 1 by z minus 1 which is equal to 0. Friends, you consider this is the function. For this function, we have to find out maximum and minimum with this condition. Okay. Now, here the given function is in terms of x, y, z. So, more than one variable. So, it is a several variables and we have a condition. So, to solve these type of the problems, whenever condition they are given, okay, we have to go for a Lagrange's undetermined multiplier method. Here, first we have to consider the Lagrange's function. I am considering a Lagrange's function as a capital F, which is equal to small f of x comma y comma z. This is a small f of x comma y comma z plus lambda into condition pi of x comma y comma z. Okay, where we can find out maximum and minima at the stationary values only. So, first we need to find out the stationary values. So, differentiate uh, this Lagrange's function. Friends, here lambda is called a Lagrange's multiplier. Okay, differentiate this f with respect to x partially and with respect to y similarly with respect to z. Later, you have to equate to 0. From these three equations, you will get the relation between uh, x, y, z only. Relation only we are getting. Now, if you want to get the stationary value, we have to use the condition pi of x comma y comma z. Then finally, you will get a x, y, z values. So, these values are said to be stationary values. At the stationary values only, we will get a maxima and minima. At the stationary values only, we will get a maxima and a minima. Clear friends? Now, we have to go through this method. Consider Lagrange's function capital F of x comma y comma z is equal to small f of x comma y comma z plus lambda into pi of x comma y comma z. Now we have to substitute these values. Here capital F is equal to what is the small f of x comma y comma z? From the equation 1 we can write x plus y plus z plus lambda into what is the phi of x comma y comma z we have? Consider this as the equation number 2 that is 1 by x plus 1 by y plus 1 by z minus 1. That's it. So, this is the function friends. Now, to find the maximum and minimum, what we have to do first, we have to find out the stationary values. For that, first we have to differentiate uh, f partially with respect to x. Differentiating capital F partially with respect to x, y, z simultaneously. Later, we have to equate to 0. Okay. Now, do f by do x. While differentiating f partially with respect to x, we have to treat all other variables as a constant only. So, now x is there. x derivative is 1. Is there any x term? No. So, this derivative is 0. Plus, is there any x term? No. So, this derivative will be 0. Plus, lambda into. Here, you have 1 by x. 1 by x derivative minus 1 by x square. Into inner derivative, x derivative is 1. Plus, is there any x term? No. So, this derivative is 0. Plus, 1 by z derivative is also 0 because there is no x term. Minus 1 derivative is 0. So, if you simplify it, then we will have... 1 minus lambda by x square is equal to 0. Okay friends. Now we are doing dou f by dou y. Means we are differentiating f partially with respect to y. While differentiating partially with respect to y, we have to treat all other variables as a constant. Now is there any y term here? No. So this derivative will be 0. Plus here you have a y. Y derivative is 1. Plus is there any y term? No. So this derivative is 0. Plus lambda into now, 1 by x derivative, is there any y term? No. So, this derivative is 0 plus 1 by y derivative is minus 1 by y square. Okay, friends. Plus 1 by z, is there any y term? No. So, this derivative is 0 minus 1 derivative is 0, which is equal to 1 minus lambda by y square. Okay, friends. Now, we have to equate to 0 this one. Now, find out finally dou f by dou z also. Differentiate f partially with respect to z while differentiating partially with respect to z we have to treat all other variables as a constant. So is there any z term? No. So this is a constant. This derivative is 0 
here is there any z term no so this derivative is 0 and z derivative with respect z is 1 plus lambda into 1 by x is there this derivative is 0 because there is no z term 1 by y derivative is also 0 because there is no z term now 1 by z derivative minus 1 by z square minus constant derivative is 0 so if you simplify this then we will have 1 minus lambda by z square which is equal to 0 ok friends now we have to simplify these three equations then we will get the relation between x y z we have 1 minus lambda by x square equal 0 from this we can get 1 is equal to lambda by x square from this you can say lambda is equal to x square so if you simplify uh, this equation then we will have lambda is equal to y square and if you simplify this third equation then we will have lambda is equal to z square from this what we can say x square is equal to y square is equal to z square is equal to lambda so from these two equations x square is equal to y square then you can say x is equal to plus or minus y and of another these two equations y square is equal to z square from this you can say y is equal to plus or minus z then finally you will have plus or minus x is equal to plus or minus y is equal to plus or minus z ok friends here you have a plus or minus x plus or minus y plus or minus z are the stationary points now what we require to find here you have only relation but you didn't know what is x value y value z value how you can find out x y z values friends we have a condition that is phi of x comma y comma z is we have like this 1 by x plus 1 by y plus 1 by z is equal to what 1 now in place of x you substitute plus x only in place of y plus x in place of z plus x i am considering like this point x is equal to y is equal to z condition then it will be 1 by x plus 1 by x plus 1 by x which is equal to 1 if you simplify this then you will have 3 by x is equal to 1 from this what you can say x is equal to what 3 x is equal to 3 then similarly what we can say y is equal to 3 and z is equal to 3 therefore x is equal to y is equal to z is equal to plus 3 but one more condition is also there here what are the points actually plus x plus y plus z is one station point minus x minus y minus z is another station point so we will get a two station values here one is 3 comma 3 comma 3 Another one is minus 3 comma minus 3 comma minus 3. So you have a two stationary values. So at one stationary value we will get maximum. Another stationary value we will get a minimum. What is the function we have? f of x comma y comma z is equal to x plus y plus z. For this point only, for this function only we require to find a maximum or minimum. Yes or no? At a 3 comma 3 comma 3. Now f I am finding. What is the f here you tell me? f means f of x comma y comma z this value we are verifying x is equal to 3 plus y is equal to 3 plus z is equal to 3 then you will have 9 similarly at a minus 3 comma minus 3 comma minus 3 also we need to find out f of x comma y comma z which is x is minus 3 y is minus 3 z is minus 3 so you are getting minus 9 so we can say here maximum is plus 9 minimum is minus 9 for the function f of x comma y comma z is equal to x plus y plus z with the condition 1 by x plus 1 by y plus 1 by z is equal to 1. I think it is a clear for everyone. Right friends? What we have to do I will repeat again you see first given function you observe if it is having a three variables x y z obviously they will give at least one condition. If they are given a condition with the three variables, we have to consider the Lagrange's function capital F is equal to small f plus lambda into pi. Now, for that, uh, what we have to do? For this entire function, we need to find out the maxima and minima. For that, what we have to do means, here we have to find the station value. For that, you have to find dou f by dou x, dou f by dou y, dou f by dou z. Now, you have to equate to zero of these three first order partial derivatives. Then, we will get the relation between x, y, z. Later we have to substitute these values in the phi of x comma y comma z. Then we will get x y z values. These x y z values if you are substituted in the given function. Then you will get either maximum or minimum. This is the procedure friends. Okay. Thank you for watching this video.